so um, I think we have a major problem in our understanding of what is church. Church is the body of Christ. All those people that are born again, adopted children of God, we are the church. Church is not something that you go to. And people talk like, oh, hey, where did you go to church? That doesn't even make sense because the church is the body of Christ. How do you, I mean, people should say, and our words are very important, and we have to um, pay attention to what we say. Our words have a lot of power. And um, so saying that, oh, I'm going to go to church or... I, go, I belong to this church. There's only one church. There's only one body of Christ. And that's those that are in Christ. We are the church. You don't go to church. You go, a better way of saying it is that you you went and you gathered with the church. You went to go gather with the mem other members of the body of Christ. So we don't go to church. We go and gather with the church. And... In order to become a member of the church, it's not done by man. Man doesn't decide who's in the body of Christ. God does. And if you repent of your sin and ask to be forgiven through Jesus Christ because he died on the cross for you, and that you're sincere about it and God knows that you are, he, he'll welcome you, he'll cleanse you from all your sin, he'll come in side of you and by the form of the Holy Spirit will come inside the Spirit of God Spirit of Truth and once that happens all in an instant you become a member of the church God ordains us as members of church and so if you understand what the church is and another good thing is to understand what the role of of the members are and our positions which I see it as we're all equal and Jesus is our head so the head of the body of Christ Jesus the head of the church is Jesus that means that all the members of the body listen to the head Jesus Jesus is our boss Jesus orchestrates all of the members of his body and when the members of the body are listening to the brains of the operation Jesus the head we will function in harmony and we will work together there's none of this I'm the boss of you I'm um, I'm appointed to be your boss I'm Lord over you or how it's been going on in these institutions like the worldly institution what people think church is and they go and they think like some man is their shepherd and their pastor Jesus is our shepherd he's our pastor and if people are being obedient to Christ and following Jesus they will treat you properly and they will lead you um, in the proper ways but a lot of what's happening is that these so-called um, ministers are really they're ministers a lot of them are ministers for the devil because they're teaching from the devil but they go to school um, in the world worldly school get a degree they pay money to get to study under man to learn about the things of God and then they get a, a degree and a piece of paper and they think that that makes them appointed by God and they think that makes them like uh, over other people and that like they're the ones to listen to when we should be listening to God. And if the Holy Spirit is speaking through people, then great. That's who we want to listen to, not to man. And there's a lot of false teaching going out there and people are trying to say, oh, well, this just because they're recognized and they're put on a pedestal as they're the minister, they're the pastor, they think that whatever they say is the truth, when a lot of times what's going on is people like idolize these people 
and they're teaching them lies and they just agree with all these lies and these liars they're disguising themselves as bearers of the truth and and like shepherds and pastors are leading people astray and they're lording their evil authority from the devil over people and basically they're not allowing Christians to speak and they think like they're the only ones that are gifted by God when that's not the case we are all gifted by the Holy Spirit and we all have things to contribute I'm not more better special than you are and I, my role as, the, as a member in the body is not more important than yours we all have a role and we all need to share we all need to speak we all have been given things by God that we need to say or do it's not just one person and we all just go and listen to some guy speak and that he's the boss and everybody else has nothing to say nothing to do no that's not how it is we should be working together as a team as equals as um, Jesus being our head and I think a lot of Christians are intimidated and they live in fear to stand up for what the truth is and we're not working together as a team very well we're uh, there's I don't know I think we got I think people got to stop gathering um, under these under men uh, and being like led by men let's just get together filled with the Holy Spirit and allow this Holy Spirit to operate and to speak through us and just walk in the Spirit uh, we don't need to like plan everything and, and write like some script that we're gonna read off of and like come on like the Holy Spirit we don't need to um, have some script the Holy Spirit knows what to say knows what to do let's just be obedient to God and allow God to work amongst us and uh, love each other I don't know I think we're such we're we're in such a sorry sad state we're supposed to be the salt and the light of the world the leaders not the followers not following an evil government we're supposed to lead people and tell speak up for what the truth is not go along with the world and be friends with the world we're friends of God and we need to speak the truth and not be afraid to stand up for the truth so I hope that um, this message will speak to you, that it's a message from God. I hope that um, God will bless it and um, that it's not from me, it's from the Holy Spirit. And I just felt moved by God to share this with you and to speak about this. I love you. I wish we could um, be more loving um, towards each other and actually care about each other. and and like i just i experienced so much like it just seems like people don't care like they'll they'll see at these church buildings which is just the building where the church gathers and they sometimes i've experienced where people be talk to me and be nice there and then the on on the street they just ignore me like um okay there's something wrong there if you know if if you're think you're at church and you're gonna say hi to me and then on the street you're just gonna act like I'm dead to you or something <laughs> like there's something wrong there just because uh, you go to gather with the church um, doesn't make you a Christian God makes people Christians by being born again filled with this Holy Spirit washed of all our sins so um, praise God and I know it's only God that's able to um, make things happen I look to him even even in the midst of all this chaos and confusion and all this, I don't know, uncaring, unloving body of Christ that we seem to be. We're in shambles, really. And people are not living for God all that much. And sin is rampant in the church. Like, we got to cast off sin, get rid of it. It so easily trips us up. And we got to unite together in Christ. Unite. God wants us to be united as one body and mind. United with God. We unite with God and come in alignment with God and His thoughts. In the truth, we'll be united with each other. God bless you in Jesus' name. I love you all so much.